Hey Murphy, last night was pretty rough. I feel like I swallowed a pound of catnip. Yeah, you were chasing laser around for a good while there. You thought it was a mouse or something. Oh dang, I was that gone? Oh heck no, I'm telling you. Never mix brands. As they say, too much catnip always leads to a bad cat trip. <laughs> you crazy dog, you. Hey, watch your mouth, sir. We are at work. Ain't that the truth. Oh, I didn't see you there, Mr. Snickers. So, is that why you were just standing around? Thought the boss was away scratching a post or something? No, sir. I was just about to... Finish the accounts with Mrs. Tinkles, huh? I want those accounts in my office in half an hour and make sure that they are perfect. Will do, Mr. Snickers. Good. And fix your shirt. You look like Murphy dragged you in here. You okay there, champ? You look a little peeved. I don't want that old sourpuss get to you. He's always trying to find a bone to pick or a pot to lick, am I right? How about after work you and me go out and get some milk? Hey Murphy, sometimes do you ever wish you could go back to being a kitten? Back to when you first started to open your eyes and everything looked big and easy to scratch? I like the way things are now. Me and the missus have really set up a nice place under this trailer on the other side of town. Sure, she ate a few from the new litter, but hey, marriages always have their problems. Yeah, well, it wasn't too long ago that we were both just a couple of alley cats trying to make it in this crazy dog-eat-dog town. We really had the time of our lives, didn't we? Just digging through trash cans, trying to get the most out of scraps? Those were the days. Say, when was the last time you went back to the old alley? Jeez, I don't even... What's going on, meow? Oh, Mr. Snickers! How is that account going? Have you been working hard on it? I see Murphy is still standing here. Acting like he's just been caught clawing the couch. Well, um, sir, it's kind of a slow day. Don't get catty with me, Murphy. Yes, sir. Mr. Snickers, sir. All right. Keep up the good work, gentlemen. If you need me, I'll be in my office. Want to go to lunch? Yeah. Sushi? Nah, something a little bit lighter. Let's get some cheeseburgers. Uh, I can have cheeseburgers anytime. All right. Just some nibbles, then? Sounds fantastic. Some good old hometown nibbles. I want to dance with somebody I want to feel the heat with somebody I want to dance with somebody With somebody who loves me I want to dance with somebody I want to feel the heat with somebody Somebody with somebody who loves me. Why is Mr. Snickers always coming down so hard on me? It's like he has a grudge against me. He only picks on you because he wants to make you the manager when he retires. Everyone knows that. What do you mean everyone knows that? I didn't know that. Jeez, man. Wake up. Why else would he pick on you so much? Are you okay? My hairball. Ugh, I'm eating here. <coughs> I'm good. Look, man, just give it some time. He's going to warm up to you. Just keep a smile and deal with his BS for another couple of months. When he retires, you can be the hammer that comes down on all of us. <laughs> Could you imagine that? <laughs> Me acting like Mr. Snickers? <laughs> no way, man. You don't have a big enough head. <laughs> 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 Hey, dipshits. You two were out and about when we all got held up. The perps got away in a stolen van with all our Sacagawea coins. Cleaned the whole place out like it was a dirty litter box. Well, I guess we took your lunch at the right time. Keep up that attitude and you'll be chewing on cat grass behind bars. What do you mean? Isn't it convenient that the both of you left right as the robbery took place? Well, I guess so. And isn't it strange that the lockup for all the Sacagawea coins was left open? Isn't that your department, Murphy? Yeah, but I just stepped out for a couple of minutes. Enough! You both are fired. 
get your shit and hit the road, you rascals. But Mr. Snickers, we didn't even mean to leave the door open. I swear it was just me. Don't punish Marley. He's just a silly cat trying to get a ball of yarn. Don't say that. Fine. You are fired, Murphy. Okay. I'll see you later, champ. Just kidding, you scaredy cats. Get back to work. Wow, can you believe that, jerk? I wish I could. Must have been fed by a bottle when he was a kitty. I was shocked when you took the bullet for me there. It was really nice. Don't get used to it. I may have your back, but I don't want anyone thinking that I'll just roll over for a belly rub at any given time. Oh, Murphy, you are my best feline friend. I love you, Marley. I would do anything for you. Aw, shucks. Aren't you going to say it back? Say what back? That you love me. Um... Hmm... <laughs>